What's going on everyone? From time to time, we have customers who may have damaged the solenoid on their EM valves and need to replace them. Today, I'm going to show you how to properly remove and replace the solenoid on your EM valve. For reference, all of our EM valves share the same design solenoid, so it's going to be the same across all part numbers. Be aware that the solenoid is only this piece here. There is no need to remove the three screws that hold the cap onto the valve itself. To remove the solenoid, it's very simple. This is threaded into the cap of the valve. All you need to do is rotate it counterclockwise. For the most part, all valves should have the solenoid hand tight, so you should be able to break it loose fairly easily, as you can see here. And as you can see, it pulls right out. And this is the solenoid itself. Um, each part number is usually sold as an entire unit, such as this, and they'll come with a specific plug depending on the valve that you're using. In the scenario that it's giving you a little bit of difficulty, what you can do is find the two flat spots on the solenoid, as you can see here and here, and use something like an adjustable wrench to get a grip on those flat sides just to break it loose, and then unthread it from there. And that's the solenoid. Now we're gonna get your new solenoid and install that into the valve. It's just as simple as removing it. You're going to insert this until it bottoms out and then you'll start rotating it clockwise until it bottoms out here. It just needs to be hand snug, that's more than enough. And once you have the solenoid replaced, you can go and reinstall it on the vehicle. For future tech tips, make sure to follow us on social media to see how we are keeping Boost Control.